what happened. Okay, at roughly 1650 hours, officers were called to the area of 89th and Fort for a possible uh, dumping complaint. Our airborne law enforcement, ABLE 1, was also up, and when officers arrived, the vehicle fled. Omaha police officers did not pursue the vehicle, but ABLE 1 did follow the vehicle, and followed the vehicle for um, uh, through a great deal of the city. It was in the northeast precinct and the southwest precinct and the um, southeast precinct and the northeast. I think it hit all four precincts. In any event, the vehicle was driving in a normal fashion and also in a very erratic fashion. So the, uh, the ABLE 1 followed the vehicle for a lengthy, a significant amount of time. Eventually the vehicle became involved in a four vehicle accident here at 60th and Blondo. At 60th and Blondo, uh, the vehicle ran the stop sign. The stolen, it turned out to be a stolen pickup truck, ran the stop sign. Um, one party was transported to Code 2 trauma candidate to UNMC. Another party said that they would likely walk themselves, or I'm sorry, take themselves up to hospital to be checked out on their own. Uh, once, the, once the accident happened, three parties fled from the vehicle. Uh, all three parties were apprehended. Two parties were located in a shed at the rear of 5827 Blondo, and the other party was located at the rear of a residence at 5823 Blondo. So um, the K-9 unit assisted in locating the vehicle. Um, we have the auto theft unit here assisting us now. We have the accident unit assisting us now. Um, we're still in the early stages of investigation, but um, three parties will be taken to Central, and I'm not sure of the charges yet, and that'll be determined once they're there. Was, so did OPD, or did ABLE 1 rather, did they see that crash? Were they still following these people? When yes, o, o, uh, ABLE 1 reported the vehicle accident. When you uh, say one person was transported code two, yes. is that right? Was it a suspect or was it another vehicle? Uh, one of the victims of the uh, vehicles, not the suspects. As okay. far as I know, the suspects are not injured. And you're also saying that they weren't speeding during No, this. that's not what I'm saying at all. They were driving both. Erratically. They were driving both in normal fashion and very erratically, very dangerously. So their behavior would go from calm to reckless to calm. No one specific behavior for any extended period of time. Okay, makes sense. Um, when it comes to, you said they were tossing stuff out of the windows. Do you know what it was? Um, initially the report was dumping, and then later when the vehicle was being driven, it, we thought they were throwing something out of the windows. So we're still in the uh, investigative part of that. Mm -hmm. So no idea what they were dumping yet? No. Okay. How do you, you guys, you know, <laughs> with potentially there's dumping sites, there's the crash scene here, there's where they were apprehended. This is a big crime scene. Kind of. I mean, there's all these different areas to investigate, so how do you divvy up that manpower? Uh, well, I think we're very fortunate in that, of course, you take the most important things first, the injured people. The, you got to treat them first, and that's what we do. And then, of course, you have to catch the suspects secondly, and fortunately, that's what happened in this case. And from then, you just take the uh, most important resources. Is, is that normal for a lengthy chase like this? First of all, was it, it was more than an hour, right? Uh, it was, I would have to give you an exact time, but it was significant. It could have, okay. could have been an hour, yes. Okay. Um, with a lengthy chase like that, is it normal for them to drive normal and then erratically, or have you not seen that before? Um, I would like to clarify one point. Omaha Police Department was not, to the best of my knowledge at this point, Omaha police officers were not involved in the chase. Um, I ordered the officers to stay away from the vehicle due to the traffic. I mean, it was busy time of the day, and I didn't want uh, Omaha officers to get involved in a chase at that time of the day. Able one simply follow the vehicle. Okay, so follow the And yeah, I think you're right. In this lengthy time, they go through their excitement just like we do, and they go through their lulls just like we do. Mm -hmm. And so I imagine that their emotions were up and down. Okay. Um, and so just rephrase, the, the three people in the truck? Yes. Uh, I can't remember if you said men or women. Uh, it was two males and a female. Okay, any approximate ages? Uh, yes. We have a... Sorry, take me just a moment. No, that's okay. Female is roughly 28 years old. Uh, one male was born in 76, and the other male was born in 1990. Okay. Any idea who was driving? Which one of those? Uh, it's still too early in the investigation to say. Okay. And which they were driving the truck? They were driving the uh, yeah the white Toyota truck. The two other cars were the ones they were involved in the accident. Is there another car? Yes, there is. The, the critter control oh, truck was involved. Control. So which way were they coming here? Do you guys uh, know yet? What was reportedly that they were going northbound on 60th. Okay. Which would be heading uh, that direction. That way. That way. This is 60th. Yes, okay. sir. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to um, get heads around. Had, I mean, obviously now you guys know the truck was stolen. Do you know when it was reported stolen? Or I can get you that information. I just don't know it off the top of my head. That's all I've got for you. Anything else, sir? Oh, it's... Uh, I'm just glad no one was seriously injured. It's a, it's a scary time. It's scary when something like this happens. It's scary for the police. It's scary for the citizens. I don't know about the suspects.
but you know the whole time we're just hoping that no no one gets injured no one gets injured it's that funny balance you have to play yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, you know. it's a long process, an hour. Uh, any indi just last question? Any indication what these guys, why they wouldn't let up? I mean, are they involved in something big? Um, I think people involved in criminal behavior. There's often many things involved. I mean, whether they have emotional issues or whether they have dependency issues, we're not sure. But I think often those play a factor.